Welcome back to Tainslade Info's Defense Update series. In today's video, I will be sharing three updates relevant to the defense side. The first one is regarding the unveiling of B-21 Raider Strategic Stealth Bomber of Northrop Grumman. The second update is regarding the formation of the first squadron of the Light Combat Helicopter Prachan at Misamari Air Base in Assam, which will be part of the Aviation Brigade. And the third update is regarding the latest update on the Hindustan lead-in fighter trainer. Now let me begin with each update one by one in a detailed manner. One of the most awaited and most expected moment for the United States is the revealing of their future bomber and this is all about the B-21 Raider which is manufactured by Northrop Grumman. The United States Air Force announced that B-21 would be unveiled during December 2, 2022 at Palmdale, California. The Northrop Grumman B-21 Raider is a strategic bomber which is under development for the United States Air Force by Northrop Grumman. As part of the Long Range Striker Bomber program, this large stealth intercontinental bomber is an advanced one with a very long range and heavy payload which would help the United States Air Force deliver conventional and thermonuclear weapons. As I mentioned before, the unveiling of B-21 Raider will be a historic moment for the Air Force and the entire United States. This bomber will be an added advantage for the United States Air Force during the various threats posed in today's challenging combat environment. The B-21 Raider will provide impressive combat capability across a range of operations in a highly contested environments of the future. This stealth bomber is also capable of carrying out intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance missions. Not only that, these stealth bombers can be used for conducting electronic warfare such as jamming the radar and communication systems. After unveiling, the B-21 program will continue its rigorous testing campaign with a combined team of professionals from Air Force Test Center, Air Force Operational Test and Evaluation Center and Northrop Grumman. Their work will verify the performance and identify areas of improvement for the weapon system. It is said that six B-21 test aircrafts in various stages of final assembly is available at the same plant where the unveiling ceremony is going to take place on December 2nd, 2022. So that was an update to provide details on the date during which the world will get a glimpse of the Northrop Grumman B-21 Raider bomber. Now moving on to the next update regarding the first squadron of the light combat helicopter Prachand which will be formed by November 2022. The Indian Army will be forming the first squadron of the indigenous light combat helicopters this month. It is said that this squadron will be based at Misamari Air Base in Assam and will be part of the aviation brigade tasked to defend the strategically vital western part of the Arunachal Pradesh. This border is very critical one since Arunachal Pradesh is bordered by Myanmar and China. The Hindustan Aeronautics Limited's Prachan is a multi-role light attack helicopter which is designed and manufactured by the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. And this is operated by both Indian Air Force and the Indian Army. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited's the LCH Prachan offers various capabilities including armor protection, night attack, ground attack and aerial combat capabilities. These combat helicopters are also equipped with advanced navigation systems, air-to-air -air missiles and guns which is customized for performing close combat operations. According to the pilots who have driven these indigenous attack helicopters of India, they have mentioned that LCH Prachand will boost the combat potential and the offensive capabilities since many features of these choppers are comparatively better than most attack helicopters which are available. The Misamari's Army Aviation Brigade, where the LCH Prachan Squadron is going to be formed, was established in March 2021. And this Army Aviation Brigade already has a squadron of the advanced light helicopters with weapon system integrated Mistral air-to-air -air missiles. 
These advanced light helicopters with weapon system integrated is able to perform reconnaissance, troop transport, anti-tank warfare and close air support. So that was all about the new squadron which is going to be formed in Missamari using the LCH Prachand attack helicopter. Now moving on to the next update on the defense side. We know that Hindustan Aeronautics Limited is coming up with another variant of the lead-in fighter trainer aircraft just like the LCA lift. And this video will provide an update on the recent details which was revealed by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has confirmed that they have started working on the development of the Hindustan lead-in fighter trainer which is also known as HLFT-42. The main reason for coming up with this trainer is to have a low-cost variant of LCA lift aircraft. Both LCA lift and HLFT-42 are very useful for Indian Air Force to ensure the new pilots are well trained before they fly the real fighters. And this is because these LCA lift or HLFT-42 can simulate various types of aircraft's speed, handling features and performance. The shocking update which we received regarding HLFT-42 is about the absence of a digital fly-by-wire system and instead it will be having a power-assisted flight control system. HLFT-42 which will be a all-metal without a digital fly-by-wire system is a major weakness for the entire platform. All other popular lead-in fighter trainers like the T-7A Red Hawk all come with this digital fly-by-wire feature and such a vital thing if it's missing on India's lead-in fighter trainer, it would be considered as a major drawback. It's not just a drawback for India alone. Even in future, if there are plans to export these aircrafts to other countries, they would obviously look for this system and HLFT-42 might get rejected just for this one reason. Even the HJT-36 Sitara, which is an intermediate jet trainer, comes with the digital fly-by-wire system. So I'm sure Hindustan Aeronautics Limited will do proper study on the criticality of this particular system's requirement and get it incorporated on the HLFT-42 very soon. So that was a video to provide three updates on the defense side. The first one was regarding unveiling of B-21 Raider, which is a strategic stealth bomber of Northrop Grumman. The second update was regarding the formation of first squadron of the light combat helicopter Prachand at Misamari Air Base in Assam, which will be part of the Aviation Brigade. And the third update was regarding the latest update on the Hindustan lead-in fighter trainer, which is also known as HLFT-42. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Tainslade Info for more defense and aviation-related updates. Thank you.